Yeah. Vinicius okay. Jr. got the blessing of his idol not too long ago. And judging by how he destroyed oh, Liverpool man, last okay. night, it's safe to say that whatever CR7 did must have worked. But wishing him good luck is not the only good the five-time Ballon d'Or did to Vinny Jr. Let's talk about the incredible relationship between the most decisive player in the world and Cristiano Ronaldo. Vinicius Jr. was on a mission last night, as Real Madrid pulled off yet another historic comeback against an English side, absolutely battering Liverpool this time. So the prime UCL Cristiano Ronaldo memories flooded the place for sure. Carlo Angelotti, a man known for hiding his emotions better than NASA hides the existence of alien species, couldn't help but praise Vinny. Right now, I think he is the most decisive player in the world. Everything he does is a dribble away from a defender, an assist or a goal. And he does it for the full 90 minutes. He just never stops. Not only Carlo, but all Angelotti's La Winnie. Vinicius Jr. first rekindled Real Madrid's spirits after they were 2-0 down by scoring an incredible goal and then tied the score thanks to a howler from his compatriot Alisson Becker. Before he and his friends went on to humiliate the Reds though, Vinny Jr. made sure he celebrated his second on the night by paying homage and showing great admiration for his idol Cristiano Ronaldo. Although it's open to interpretation, the I can do this even when I'm asleep was not appreciated by the home fans. Probably because it was a clear reference to the ex-Man United star. But how does this all tie in? Cristiano Ronaldo might be a long way away from his best days, but that doesn't change the fact that he is still idolized by so many great players including the other Real Madrid youngster, Rodrigo. Anyone remember how the Brazilian trembled when he met CR7? Getting back to CR7 2.0 though, it's safe to say that his relationship with the Portuguese is a bit different than all the other players who admire Ronaldo. Growing up with CR7 posters on his walls, just like another young superstar, Vinicius never shies away from talking about his respect for Ronaldo. He even slides into the comment section of his IG posts just to say that he is numero uno. Thankfully, Vinny is not in a desperate platonic relationship, as Cristiano Ronaldo loves him to bits. He even calls him his son. Now that's some praise coming from the legend. By the way, do you think Cristianinho is jealous of Vinny Jr.? We can't possibly know, but looking at how Winnie has been performing lately, chances are Cristiano is making Cristianinho watch Vinicius. You know, just as a great example. Vinicius Jr. needed some time to get to where he is today, and his physical transformation during lockdown played a huge role in his performances. The Brazilian got himself a personal chef and trainer while setting up a home gym and making sure he's using it 4-5 to five hours per day during that period. Just like his idol. And surprise surprise, incredible talent accompanied with a tenacious work ethic brought results. Despite the incredible success he had in such a short period of time, Vinicius Jr. is only 22 years old. And if he keeps on following in the footsteps of his idol, the sky seems to be the limit for the Brazilian. Let's wrap up this episode here. But before we leave, make sure to let us know if you think Vinny Jr.'s career has a Ballon d'Or in store for him. Vinny Jr. is on fire right now, but he seems to have a tough time convincing people about his game. Check out this video to find out why he was disrespected by the football community. Thanks for watching.